Good morning. This is the morning of uh, day three. Um, I'm just going to brush my teeth. So this is a tank of uh, rainwater. So I'm going to fill my this little bag up with some water. I've got my water filter. I've got my toothbrush. Um, so I'm just going to drink straight out of the water filter just to rinse my mouth and also have a little bit of water. Got a You've got to also hydrate yourself nicely in the morning before you set off. Uh, it's a good idea. So there's a tap around here. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. So you're going fishing today? Yeah. What are you going to catch? I don't know. Hey, you don't know? What did you catch yesterday? No, I didn't go. You didn't go with the other guys, huh? Because they had, what did they catch? What did you, did you go yesterday? No, I was for those guys. What did you catch? I saw you had an octopus. Uh, the octopus, the plectin, the brim, the mushroom. Okay. Yeah. Um, just about to set off chatting to the guys that are going fishing so I've got my my tracking poles a little bit more accessible than I had them on the last two days last two days they were strapped to the back of my pack so I wasn't worried about it was too much of a hassle to take them out I thought about it a few times pulling this the, the the tracking poles out but I decided not to too lazy so today hopefully with them being a little bit more accessible um, they're not going to be uncomfortable but they're gonna Hopefully come in use if they get irritating or strapped into the back again. But tracking poles do lighten the load a little bit off your off your legs, especially when you're carrying a heavy pack. Um, my shoulders are a bit sore this morning, feet, legs, hips, a little bit achy this morning. And today's going to be definitely a longer walk than yesterday, uh, a bit more like the first day. Uh, so I'll take you along with us. So that's us leaving now. Um, the hike starts with a <coughs> short descent down to the beach. So I'm actually starting, I don't know if you can see, starting, I'm starting the hike with my crocs on because it's going to start off with a, a beach walk. And I really reckon that hot spot that I got on my foot was caused from those long beach walks on the first day. Uh, even though I've got small gaiters, sand got into the shoes and I think it was just grinding away. So you hear these guys uh, are making these bricks down at the beach. So they use, uh, instead of using concrete, they're using the, the, the sand or the stones from the beach, mixed up shells, and then they uh, mix in a little bit of cement and they make these bricks. So that's what these bricks are doing down at the beach because they're close to their, their source, their material source. And then they've got to get these bricks up the hill and they carry them. I'm sure you would have seen in yesterday's videos these piles of bricks going up the hill uh, and they carry them two at a time. And they've got to get these bricks up the hill and a truck fetches the bricks at the top of the hill. So making bricks on the beach. You gotta watch your steps sometimes. Six o'clock, the moon is still up a bit. Okay. So once the moon goes down, then it's time starts going up. So we did this walk uh, yesterday when we went down to the beach. It's just a little bit more tricky over these stones with the heavy backpack on.
Because we stole those things from the Bushmen. Yes. That's the way the I'm sure you learned. You know what? I was, I was reading a book about the Bantu language. It's ancient, this book. It shows you how the Bantu language started. Okay. It started from the Bushmen, the Strandlopers, the Hottentots, and that's why Corsa was kind of the first African language. And when they developed a dialect, it was um, a lot of the Kiksas. So, what's your name? Mary. Mary, I'm Chris. Mary Rose. Mary Rose, I'm Chris. Hi, Chris. Pleased to meet you. Yeah? Mary Rose from Mbande. Ports are from Ports and John's. Okay. I always remember say, me. Yeah, I always say Ports and the St. John's. Ports of St. John's. My name is Ports from Ports and John's. Porto. So, I say Porto. Porto and St. John's. Porto. 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 Porto from Ports Porto and John's. Porto yeah. Mbande, go with you. Yeah, we'll Thank you very much. Huh? Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Mr. Talk Guy, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, sure. So we got Putza trying out the the trekking poles. I just we are going to to the the I don't think I do I don't to do just come around this road. Uh, we're going up this hill over here. I've just stopped at this nice little beach. Um, I just want to uh, take off my or change into my shoes. I think it's time for, for some sock liners, some socks, some shoes, and uh, take the crocs off. I might have to put the crocs on a, a little bit later again for, uh, for another uh, beach walk. See how it goes. Okay, but I mean, just look at this. Today is Sunday. Huh? What day is it today? Thursday. Yeah. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Molo, how are you? I'm Johnny. Hey, what's your name? I'm Kobani Kamalako. And I. Bye bye. We've been about a kilometer down the road and she's still with us. And she's, and she's walking barefooted. Yeah, and she's barefooted and she's keeping up with the the professionals. Yeah. yeah. And she's really good, I can see. Bye bye. So what village is this? One of the Kosa clan names. So long time ago, the Gilmi clan used to live in this village. So in Africa, it was known as the Gilmi village. Okay. So there you can see there's a busy building. So it's basically just move the sticks and then they put mud into the sticks. What do they call that house? Pardon? What do they call that wall? That uh, the, the mud. Sticks and mud. So there in the distance, uh, if you can see, uh, there's some little houses there. So we're going to go 
go up that hill over and then there's a beach walk on the other side of that that we're going to be doing. So, so that is uh, donkeys and cows are sitting on the football pitch, soccer pitch, just chilling, having a nice day. So that's the, luckily we're not going up that hill, but we're going up over can't see too clearly on the camera but up and over that hill there's a little village there's a little village up there so we're gonna go up through that through that village so that's the next hill it's an old bridge that's been washed away uh, but there's not too much too much water in the river so sometimes if you come where there's been a lot more water. Then you have to take off your shoes. The water sometimes can come up to here. <coughs> it's after heavy rainfall. Molo? What you say? Now you can't really see steepness easy on the on the video but uh, this is a really steep hill. Let's get this hill started. Eh? Going up this hill. Uh, it's a really steep hill. And there's Potso and the old woman chatting away, having a conversation as if they're walking on a flat paved road. It's really steep and it just seems like there's no end to it. This is a little staircase going up here, made out of sticks. I don't think I'm going to make it to the top with that. A few rests. So, we're just nearing the top of the hill. Dogs are barking to welcome us. Some ghosts are moving out the way. And what I'm really happy about is this old lady. She's also complaining about the hill. So I don't feel so bad. Yeah. But I think she's done it a few more times than I have. So I think it was about we were down there somewhere when I videoed and looked at the top of this hill. And I remember thinking, sure, I'm not looking forward to that. Um, but it's nice to be up top here at those little huts that we saw in the distance. Well, in this hot weather with a nice cool breeze blowing, it's a good drying day. As my gran would say, today is a good drying day. So we've just said goodbye to the old woman. And Pots, I'm presuming this is a break. Are we halfway or are we past halfway? Close to halfway. Close to halfway. Not at halfway yet. <laughs> just come to the top of the hill here. It's quite windy at the top. But it looks quite windy out at sea as well. Seems to be a lot of white horses.
So where's that final destination? Yeah, that far is the is a red roof, like the big, the big, big trees behind it. Trying to find it on the camera here. Yeah, I think it's on top of that hill there. Up there. Is it on the other side of that school or which yeah, side? On the other side of the school. On the right hand side. And we still gotta go down to the beach. Yes, I'm going down to the beach. Yeah, today's a long walk, eh? Stop fanning about Chris and get this walk done. I think I'm going to take my shoes off again and walk on my, with my Crocs again. I'm going to walk across this beach definitely a little bit better with the, with the, the Crocs and with the shoes. Just a stroll on the beach, eh? One time. Beach walk, stage walk. These kids are just running up and then cruising down on the stream. And then they jump out and run back again and do it all over again. They've been doing that the whole time we've been walking towards them. So it's got to that part of the day where I turn the longs into shorts and I feel all brand new. Brand new. Nice cold river, fast flowing river, running into the sea. And then we're going to walk over to those cows in the distance. I don't know if you can see any cows. There's some cows down there. I presume we're going to be walking on this beach for a while. Are we lucky it's low tide? We are out of Port St. John's. We are out of Port St. John's district. In the next district, what's the next district called? Nelene. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> but the clear one. <laughs> There's some more cows chilling on the beach. Those are those cows I talked about earlier. But just kilometers and kilometers of unspoilt beaches. It's amazing. this little mountain, little hill to the to the next beach on the other side. But check out that piece of driftwood. That thing's massive, two pieces. That was a steep little climb and then we're gonna go back over and down to the beach again for lunch and then we're gonna go up again to the village. Just taking it slowly, no rush, we'll get there. Uh, I'm still in my uh, still in my Crocs, my sandals. Do this little climb over it. Put my shoes on off to the, the beach on the other side. Maybe need to swim in the sea or something. See how it goes. Sure. Just entered into a cooler area. We're uh, walking on those exposed grass slopes, so it's nice to get into a bit of cool shade before we head down to the beach on the other side. Are we gonna swim, Potter? Ah, that looks nice. Shuleka Bay. What bay? Shuleka Bay. Shuleka. Looks like a perfect spot for lunch, yeah, eh? It's a perfect spot for lunch, but you're gonna go, there are tables and chairs on the, on the class there, where you can sit nicely, not here on the set. Awesome. You can swim as much as you want to. Yeah. Because this is the last beach of the day. Last beach of the day? After, the, after this beach, walking on the road, inland to the village. Okay. One of the nice things about walking at this time of the year is the lifeguards, right? Lifeguards, yeah. They're on duty. So, how, what, what seasons are they on duty from? Uh, sometimes it's from November, but in the end of January, or beginning of February. 
sanctuary okay. and during the Easter holidays. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh? I thank good thank you. I'm yeah. filming you. Hey. How are you doing? Uh? I'm good. You are one of the Mr. Guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just had a great swim in the sea. Hey, after that long, long hike, I mean, it's not over yet, but we've walked a long way to be able to go have a swim in a beautiful beach with nice water. It was just, just amazing. Kids playing on the beach, kids playing soccer, lifeguards on the beach, uh, warm water, again, nice, nice, level, sandy beach. Wow. Uh, yeah, just having some lunch. And we are, we're going to climb up another hill to get to the village. There's Pato just coming back from his swim. Did you have a nice swim? Nice swim. I've been swimming on the ocean, but today I told myself I'm going to swim. Very good, man. Nice swim. Nice swim. The water is nice and warm. Yeah, it is very nice. Eh? So we've just left the beach. Yes. We're coming up the road. Yes. And we are still inside and inside the Rani Shah Reserve. Walking up to the left bridge. Okay. We haven't left the reserve yet. It takes just about two kilometers to the top. Okay. And all of these, what look like trees, it's all just bamboo. We're yeah, walking it's through. All, yeah, it's all bamboo trees all over the street. We're walking through like a bamboo forest. And if you can see, that's all bamboo. And it's making a good sound. Each bamboo squeezing on each other. Yeah. Spotted some zebra up ahead. I'm just trying to film them before they run away from us. Mountain zebra and down here. Hello. And right here next to it as well. I see some Sneaky straps. Two. Yeah, it looks like six. Yeah, their faces are very strappy, yeah? Very stripy. And also here in the stomach, their yeah, stripes come and join. Their straps join underneath? Underneath. Again, the original zebra, their yeah, stripe doesn't join here. Okay. It's a really nice looking zebra. to see some mountain zebra. It's been a tough climb up from the beach, up out of the reserve. Um, I think we've probably called the mountain zebra in Tosa. Can you tell me again? Ikwecha. Ikwecha. Yes. To the village. So this is the entrance to the reserve. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Good. Thank you.
going up continuously uh, down down there somewhere it's just been pretty much uphill the whole way not too steep continuous and check out this this is that speed that we saw in the distance with the red roof um, so excited to be here we made it to the school Hello, Molo. How are you? Good, thanks. So I've been just been taken to my room. Mm, nice one. Uh, hey, wanna have some people watching me sleep or what? Nah. Very it's nice. You only. <laughs> nice. To have the time and your rest after a long day. I'm gonna need it, huh? But I want you to give me a five. You've done so well. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, are we are we riding up? It's been a tough, a tough walk. Um, you can see I'm sweating a little bit. It's been a long, long day. It's probably about 20 past three, and we started hiking. I think about quarter past eight this morning. So we did have a nice stop off at the beach. Um, nice, I had two swims in the sea, so that was very nice. But after that swim in the ocean, all the way up to here. So it's quite a tough walk, but we made it. I'll check my feet out, see how they're coping, nurse them for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be longer than today. Tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be a tough one, but I think it's, uh, hopefully it's flatter. Um, maybe I'm just telling myself that, but we'll see. Let me just recover from the suck and I'll tune in again. To come for my welcome tea. In this one we call it a steamed bread. Steamed bread? Yeah, it's also homemade, but it's not made as the one we had last, 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 uh, yesterday this morning. How's this one made? This one, you put it in a pot, then you take a big pot. You add or then you put a small pot inside so it boils up until it gets red like this. Or else you cover with a plastic bag. Then okay. put a, a enamel paste on the on the big pot, then add the dough, and it's gonna come right. I'm looking forward to tasting it. Taste it. Well, after um, being shown my room, I just plonked down on that, dropped my bag to the floor, plonked down on that sofa and I just lay there um, and it wasn't long after that that I was called for my welcome tea I nearly told them I'm gonna give it a skip but I'm glad I mustered up the courage to get up and get out there again because and I've still got <laughs> not butter so steamed bread I think it's gonna be good looking forward to it I'm not sure if I'm up to a cup of tea or coffee. Ice cold beer would be nice though. Funny enough, we actually I didn't we didn't stop at a shop. We normally get ourselves a coke on the way in. I might have to send Pizza off to get us an ice cold coke or something. We'll see what happens. But I'm dying to try out this bread. It's also quite a dense, heavy bread, like the like the previous nut. I could just live on this bread. 
fresh nash very very nash bread I'm tired mm. look how much bread I mean I mean, pizza will probably one slice, two at the most. I might have two or three. They're really good. So my nut butter is finished. But this bread, nothing on it. Tastes good. Just a plain piece of bread. Hey, Pozzo, we had a good long hike today, yeah? It was a long one. No, good. Though our feet feel a bit sore. Yeah, our feet yeah. are a bit sore. So I just wanted to ask you, that woman, that, that old woman that we saw crossing, she nearly slipped crossing the bridge, yeah. uh, the, the river. Yeah, and then we saw going up. When she was crossing the bridge, she was carrying a bag. And then she strapped that bag to her back. Mm -hmm. and, and I was going up behind and I saw that bag. What was in there? Yeah, uh, she was coming from the garden. Inside that bag, there were pumpkin leaves. Then they used those pumpkin leaves uh, for like salad or maybe something like cabbage. So that she was carrying them like this on the bag because most of the time with the women, they don't like carrying stuff with their hand for a long time. It's either they put it in their hand or they put it in, in their bag. That's okay. why it was tied. That's why he, that's why it was tied on, on her bag. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so she lives up at the top? Yeah, she lives up at the top. In fact, she, is from, she lives on the village that, that we passed before we crossed the river. Yes, yes. But her original family is from the top. So what happened, he visited the family because one of, the, of her family members passed away. So he was shocked. So that's why she was visiting the family. Oh, okay. Then she decided to pass by the garden, get something for a meal, then she, was, she walks up to the village. Okay. Instead of going to the village, then coming back down to the garden, then up at the village, yeah. just grab everything, then went yeah. down. So so now that so they'll just chop that those leaves and mix it with the pup or what? They'll chop those leaves, then boil them. It's either they're gonna boil them only, or else sometimes they're gonna boil them, then mix up uh, with a uh, maize meal, then stir it together, then it becomes like a cream pup. Green pup. Yeah, like a, it's a, we call it a cream pup. Okay. And then in our lab we call we call it isikwamba. Isikwamba. It's, yeah, it's what all people used to eat on the olden days. Because okay. sometimes either they do that cream pup or else they do a pumpkin pup. They, Chop up pumpkin, then boil it, then they put it like a, like they mash it, yeah. then they eat eight mess meal on top of it. I've had that one, yeah, it's very yeah, nice. Yeah. It, yeah. That's my favorite pup. Also, sometimes one. you can also use beans. Yes. You take beans, you cook them once they're right, you take you take mealy, you take mealy, you take, take mess meal, yeah. you eat it there, and then you stir it, and it becomes a, 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 like a, a bean pup. Okay. It's, yes. about, it's a little bit like red brownish in color yeah, yeah. because of that water from the, from the, from yeah, the, from yeah. the beans. Okay. No, thanks, yeah. Russell. Okay, cool. It's no problem. Cheers. I'm sorry. Well, I'm feeling much better after my shower. The shower system basically worked the same as the previous one with the bucket system. The only difference was it's on a slope um, and there was an opening uh, higher up and I had a view of cows grazing while having a shower. I've had a lot of interesting showers in my life. I've never had a view of cows grazing while showering. I can actually show you the cows that I was watching. I was watching those cows graze while having my shower. 